Heirs of the King, December 30th. Triumphant in the Spirit. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. Revelation chapter 21 verse 7. Be not discouraged, be not faint-hearted. Although you may have temptations, although you may be beset by the wily foe, yet, if you have the fear of God before you, angels that excel in strength will be sent to your help, and you can be more than a match for the powers of darkness. Jesus lives. He has died to make a way of escape for the fallen race, and he lives today to make intercession for us, that we may be exalted to his own right hand. Have hope in God. The world is traveling the broad way, and as you travel in the narrow way, and have principalities and powers to contend with, and the opposition of foes to meet, remember that there is provision made for you. Help has been laid upon one that is mighty, and through him you can conquer. Come out from among them and be separate, says God, and I will receive you, and ye shall be sons and daughters of the Lord Almighty. What a promise is this! It is a pledge to you that you shall become members of the royal family, heirs of the heavenly kingdom. If a person is honored by, or becomes connected with, any of the monarchs of earth, how it goes the rounds of the periodicals of the day, and excites the envy of those who do not think themselves so fortunate. But here is one who is king over all, the monarch of the universe, the originator of every good thing, and he says to us, I will make you my sons and daughters, I will unite you to myself, you shall become members of the royal family and children of the heavenly king. And then says Paul, having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. 2 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 1. Why should we not do this, when we have such an inducement, the privilege of becoming children of the Most High God, the privilege of calling the God of Heaven our Father? The Review and Herald, May 31, 1870.